This video will introduce how to draw a dormer window in Homestylerd. Create a room and set the wall height note. Only set the height below the roof. Select the room and disable the default ceiling. Go to Customize Interior Design 2.0. Use the Guidelines feature to determine the position of the slanted roof on one wall. Use the Line tool to connect the endpoints of the guidelines and draw a slanted roof surface. Use the Extrude tool to give thickness to the surface and double-click on it to group it. Setting thickness will make it easier to add materials to the inner and outer sides of the slanted surface later. Copy the slanted surface and add it to another wall. Use the Rectangle command to draw the entire roof surface. The following steps are to provide a reference for drawing a dormer window later, to help us draw more accurately. Use guidelines to determine the position of the window. Use the Rectangle tool to draw the surface of the dormer window and use Extrude to give it a certain thickness. At this point, the shape and position of the dormer window are finalized, so the roof surface can be deleted. Then, group the drawn rectangular prism and adjust its position. Use the Line tool to draw a triangle on both sides along the junction of the rectangular prism and the slanted roof. Use the Line tool to outline the area needed for the dormer window. Delete the original rectangular prism and group the two surfaces separately.
After drawing the position where the window overlaps with the slanted surface, delete it. Use Extrude to give thickness to the triangular surface of the dormer window, and do the same for the other side. Next, connect the missing area with a line. Use guidelines to mark the position of the window roof and connect them. Then fill in the missing areas with line segments. Draw the position of the roof frame. Extrude the thickness of the roof. Go to Plane Projection to draw the details of the window. You can draw according to your needs, and Plane Projection allows for precise creation on that plane. After finishing the drawing, return to the 3D view. Rotate the view with the left mouse button. If there are any missing faces, you can add them at this stage. Use the line tool to draw the slanted surface on the other side and give it thickness. After setting the thickness, you can add different materials to the inner and outer sides. Group the slanted surface and hide it so that you can better observe the internal structure. 
Use view show all hidden to display the hidden models. Select materials on the left side and add them to the corresponding surfaces. For grouped models, you can double-click to enter the group and replace materials.